What's up everyone, Garrett here, and in this final video for this website from start to finish series here, uh, we're going to be adding the PHP that makes this contact us form here work. So without talking too much, let's just uh, jump right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up two pages here. That would be the profile or the portfolio page rather and the testimonials page. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down to the bottom in the footer section where we have the form. And the only thing we have to do here is add this little attribute, which is the action attribute. And we're going to make this action form.php. We're going to save that. And we're going to do the exact same thing in the uh, testimonials page. And make sure you're doing this in the, uh, the form tag. So action equals form dot php and then we're going to make a new file called form dot php and we're going to open that file up actually at this point we can also x out um, of uh, of the other two documents that we have so what we're going to do is we're going to open up with the PHP with uh, this little element or this little tag I guess here and this basically just tells the browser or actually not even the browser because PHP is a server-side language which we can get into another video but basically it means that the browser actually never sees PHP it seems all the PHP is executed on the server so um, not for the browser to see it, but for the server to see it, it's gonna know that this is PHP and I don't think you technically need this little extra question mark thing here. People have mentioned that to me in the past, but I think it's the best practice to do so. And so um, that's why I just kind of have it there. Um, so anyway, so what we're going to do is actually, we don't actually need these two things to be open, but I'm just going to open one so I can just kind of show you guys what I'm doing. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to take the, we're going to, take whatever the user says whatever the user puts into each one of these um, inputs right here and we're gonna take that what they say and we're gonna put it into a variable inside the PHP so let's go ahead and do that right so that would be this element here this element here this element there and of course I know I just showed you the elements but I actually want to show you like where the code was in case you forgot because I know it's been a while since we've been at this um, so we're gonna put them into uh, variables and what we're going to do is the way we set up a variable in, P variable in PHP is by saying question mark, or not question mark the uh, the money sign and then the name of the variable and and then what it's going to equal is uh, is going to be money sign again underscore and then post and then inside of that after that we're gonna do these like the uh, the square brackets, and we're gonna have the name of the like here in the HTML. The reason that we put this name in instead of like a um, something like we do have the class, and that's for styling purposes. But the reason we have the name here is that's how PHP. Is, that's how we're gonna be connecting to the element in PHP. So we're gonna say the name. So in this case, the name of the name variable is pretty easy. It's name. So we're actually going to put this in two single quotes and just simple like that name. And then at the end of it, we're going to add a semicolon. And that's how PHP works. You have to put a semicolon when you're done a line of code. So we're going to do the same thing for the next uh, three things. And we're also going to, of course, copy and paste because it just saves time. And if you can, why wouldn't you? And we're going to make this, I think this is message. And then we're just going to double check to see here what the other names are. So the name is email and message. Cool. So we're going to make this email and message. And actually, I'll show you guys. Um, if you see here, we can actually just to, for fun sake to see that this worked. Um, we're going to echo, which echo in PHP means like print. It means it's going to display something or the whatever follows it. So we're going to echo name and we're gonna echo uh, and then we're gonna have a space and then we're going to echo something else or no sorry yeah 
then we're gonna echo uh, the email and then for the last one obviously uh, another space and then we're gonna echo the last one which is message and just we're gonna save that and just show you guys that this actually does work um, my name is Garrett my email is doesn't really matter and we're just gonna make this a test and if this worked correctly it did um, that's what we just put into the thing so now now that we've done that and it actually is picking up um, all of the information let's actually make it do something what we want to make it do obviously is email it to us so to do that we're gonna have some more variables and these are these variables are gonna variables are gonna be like elements of an email so we're gonna have a two variable um, a subject variable and subject and we're gonna have a message variable remember we already used the message so we're gonna use msg for message and so this is gonna equal something and so on so now the two is going to equal our email address. In my case, it's going to be Garrett at icodetheweb.com. Oops. And then the subject is going to be whatever you want the subject to be. In our case, it's going to be a website contact form. And then the message is going to be. Um, like it, the message is going to be our variables. Actually, what we just put in for the echo is going to be our message. So I guess I shouldn't have deleted all that because I could have just copied and pasted it. But it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, this here, which is actually so. The way I've done this in the past is by adding these like things here. But obviously, we put these in variables for a reason. So let's see if this will work. Um, and then we'll do this. Oops. And we'll have uh, what's the next one? I think it's email. And then space there. And then another one. It does get kind of repetitive, I know. But it is necessary. We'll have message. And then that'll be it. And then this is the last line of code. And this is the line of code right here that actually makes this work. And this is the mail function in PHP and so this is actually going to be um, the actual email right here so uh, this is going to be variable 2 that's going to be who is 2 and then comma and then this is going to be uh, subject comma and then message and that is it now let's go see if this worked so the name is Garrett once again. The email is Garrett at icodetheweb.com and this is gonna be test. All right, cool, so that did that. Remember, we don't have the echo there anymore, so it's not gonna be displaying any information, but if we update our inbox, actually it did work, which is awesome. So if we go into here, we'll see that we got the name, the email, and the message, which was test. Hopefully, you guys, if you guys use this for your portfolio, you have a lot more and awesome messages that won't just say test. You'll actually have people wanting to hire you and um, whatever it is you're seeking to do. And I wish you guys the best of luck, obviously. Um, so now that's done, I can log out. And so now that this is done, this actually brings us to the end of this series thank you guys so much for sticking along and watching it i know i didn't bring it i didn't like get it out as quickly as i should have that was because i was really busy with uh, school and everything and, and and all that good stuff so anyway thanks for watching guys definitely subscribe because we're gonna have some awesome videos coming out in the very very near future and from here on out uh, my new year's resolution or one of them is to uh actually be able to make videos every week, which I'll talk about that in the next video, which will be uh, very soon, actually. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said before, definitely subscribe. Also, I'm going to be starting to use Twitter and Facebook. So if you guys want to get all of that, those like updates and stuff, which I'm going to have a lot more stuff than I will on YouTube, like I'm like inspiration and I don't know, some cool stuff on Facebook and Twitter that you won't be able to see on YouTube. So 
definitely follow Code the Web on those um, social media platforms. Links will be in the description, and you can also click the video somewhere around here, and there's going to be like the pictures and all that. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, follow me on uh, in, in, uh, social media, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.